What's going on boys and girls? So today we are doing an oil change on the S4. Now uh, don't mind any banging or weird noises you hear. I'm having solar panels put on the roof today. But I figured I would do a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to change your own oil. Uh, it's very straightforward, very easy, and it'll save you some money. So first what you'll need is your oil. So I'm using Liquid Molly. This is the stuff I'm using here. Um, I ordered the wrong, <laughs> I ordered way too much. Uh, this is enough for like almost three oil changes, like two and a half. Um, typically one kit will require one of these and two of these. So you'll get about seven liters in an oil change kit. Um, the Audi S4 will take about 6.8 with a filter change. So when you order your kit, you'll get one of these, two of these. You'll also get your oil filter. And then you'll get your O-rings and a crush washer and your drain plug bolt. So I'll post a link in the description for that. Um, I had just ordered the wrong one. Now, Audi usually suggests that you change your oil every 10,000 miles. Uh, to me, that's personally a little too long between oil changes. So I do every five. And since this Audi, since my car is no longer being driven as a daily, uh, the oil change frequency has just become once a year. Um, so I was doing it every five to 6,000, but now it's just turned into a once a year thing. Um, even if you're not driving it that much, you still want to change your oil at least once a year. So once you have your oil, your filter, and all the other little things you need, uh, the next step is going to be a way to get under the car. So whether you're gonna put it up on jack stands or you have a lift, or you've got these ramps that I have here, you just need a way to get up under the car. So you're gonna to wanna to start by removing your oil cap and just setting that somewhere. And then if you have the stock housing that comes with the car, uh, it's gonna be a 36 millimeter, so a uh, 36 mil socket. So we're going to crack this, get the old filter out, and then start with our oil change. Up under the car, you're gonna to wanna to remove those three screws there same thing on the other side I've already started and then you've got three screws back here don't mind that I had an oil leak earlier and yeah that's just kind of the leftover and then you're going to remove these ones up here as well so that way we can drop this whole plastic uh, belly plastic belly pan whatever so we can um, expose the oil pan have the tray removed from underneath. Your drain plug is right here. It takes, um, or the one I get at least, I don't know if this changes if you're using different hardware, but a six mil Allen key to get this undone. And then we'll let the oil drain. Drain out and then we'll seal her back up and put in the new oil. All right, so while the oil is draining, we have these two little like uh, O-ring gasket looking things. I'm gonna show you, we have to take the old ones out and put the new ones in. Your first one's gonna be here. So let me set this up and I'll show you how to remove that. Just like that. And this one you can throw away because we got a new one. And then this is just gonna go right down into place and just push it down with your fingers and you'll feel it start to kind of sink in. So the next one is going to be on the outer part of where your filter goes. So it's gonna be on this outside here. Get a hold of it and boom, there's your old. And then just set it in place. You'll feel where it wants to sit when you start going around, just feed it into that little, little groove. Boom. 
and you're good. So now that we've got our two O-rings or gasket seals put in, now we can take our filter, our new one, and go ahead and feed this through and just push down and it, it'll kind of click into place. And then we can start to put this back in. So I'm just gonna start hand tight first. I'll grab my socket. I'm not gonna crank on this thing, but I'm just gonna tighten her up a little bit more. So it looks like our oil is pretty much done draining. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean it up a little bit in there. And the kit comes with your new crush washer and your drain bolt. So we're gonna go ahead and get this installed and start putting in our new oil. So we're gonna start putting in the oil. Um, the kit that I'm going to link down below is gonna come with seven liters. So one of these, it's a five, and two of these, which is, are one each. Um, I'm just using this that I had left over from last time as a measuring purpose. Again, you're gonna take about 6.8 uh, with the oil filter change. So just keep that in mind when you're, when you're doing that. If you don't change your filter, it's not gonna take as much. Uh, Liquid Molly does a really cool thing here with these. So you just pull up these tabs here. I'll try to do it with one hand. And it just pulls up and then you twist this off and it makes it super easy to pour your oil. I'll just remove that and we're going to start pouring. So now that we've got our oil in, uh, I'm gonna start the car and just let it run and then I'm going to check the levels. Um, you can do it through the, through the computer system in the car. I personally don't know how much I trust that, so I just invested in a dipstick here from ECS Tuning. An aluminum dipstick, uh, an aluminum dipstick. So I'm gonna let the car run for a little bit, check for any leaks, and then check the levels. If we have to add more, we can do that car's running, checking for leaks, nothing. So we're good there. So we're gonna let this run for a little bit longer and then we'll get the tray back up underneath of this and then we'll be all set. All right, so now that we changed the oil, we're gonna come in, let this do its thing. We're going to go to car systems, go to service checks, servicing and checks. Uh, we're going to go all the way down. Nope, I lied. Service intervals. We are going to reset oil change interval. Yes, has been reset. So they do give you this as well. I use this. I just write on it what miles I did the oil change at, and I just keep this in my car. Um, but pretty nifty. You can put it on your windshield if you wanted. So change the oil, change the filter, reset the intervals. She's all set. She's good for another year. Uh, like I said, I typically like to do around five to six thousand. I know Audi says ten, but. Personally, I just think that's a little too long between intervals. But do what you must with your own car. That's just what I do. All right, guys, thanks so much for checking out the video. Super quick. I mean, it only took me like 30 minutes from start to finish. So it's really easy, saves you some money. And, you know, I like doing what I can on my car. I can't do a lot because I'm not that knowledgeable about it. But I like to try to do what I can. All right, guys, enjoy the rest of your day. I'll see you in the next one. D. Scotty, out.